How y'all today? Otho Gold here today, and he's here to talk to you about being a creative teacher. Now, I'm sure some of you saw that movie Cameron Diaz was in back in 2011 called Bad Teacher. Well, when Otho was growing up, we had creative teachers that knew how to do things to students that often got their attention. And I'm talking about punishment now. Just set aside paddlings and uh, going to the principal's office and getting the belt or the board. But I'm talking about what things that teachers did in classrooms when kids were acting up. And Otho was, he was subject to some of that discipline as well now. Now, all of you probably remember having to write certain sentences because you were misbehaving. Let's say you were chewing gum in the study hall or you were talking and whispering when you were supposed to be doing your work. You know, and, and then the, the um, study hall teacher, probably it was a gym teacher or one of the coaches many times who overseeing all these students and who, trying to keep, keep, keep them under wraps. But anyway, you get caught. What, what did they do? Make you come up there and write on the board. Write a hundred times, I will not chew gum in study hall. Or they, they, they'd say, I want you to write a thousand times, I will not chew gum in study hall, and it's due tomorrow. Wow! So you got to worry about not only doing your homework, but now you've got a study hall teacher who wants you to write a thousand times on paper that... You won't chew gum in study hall. Well, all that did was to st it stimulated creativity because rather than using a, a single pencil to write with, you know, students would do things like this. They'd put five or six pencils together and wrap tape around the pencils, and then they'd go to writing. They could write five or six sentences at a time. Yeah, they still had to do the, the write all those sentences, but they could do it a lot quicker. I, I always hated getting caught and having to write. That was just such a waste of time. Oh, but we had some teachers that actually put students under their desk while class was going on. Now, you know, if it's a guy, it's one thing. And if, but if it's a, a woman wearing a skirt and, and she puts a student, especially if they're little boys, under the desk, and goes on teaching, and those little boys are underneath her desk, and she's wearing a dress. You know, that just, that was just kind of strange. But those kinds of things went on. And then we had teachers that had these closets in their classrooms, wooden closets. And they put students in the closet, and they'd have to stay there all period while the class is going on. Just sit in the closet. Good Lord! Oh! Oh, and what? Ah! The teachers that like to throw books. If you were misbehaving in the back of the classroom, there were some teachers that'd pick a book up and throw it all the way across the room and hit a student in the head. Boom! Wow! I've talked to people who said that they thought they had a concussion after getting hit by a big, thick book thrown by a teacher. Oh, I had one teacher who was, he was a science, uh, uh, history teacher, but he got into rubber band wars with his students. He'd shoot these rubber bands. He'd start the wars. He'd be shooting the rubber bands and the students would be shooting rubber bands back. Not at him, but they'd be shooting at one another. He, he'd be, he'd be hitting students with a rubber band, but, and, but if you shot a rubber band back and hit him, oh! He'd get mad and punish you in front of the whole class and humiliate you. Good grief. Two of his favorite punishments, if, if he got hit by a rubber band or if he didn't like you, he'd make you put your nose in a circle on the wall. Yeah. He'd, he'd draw a circle on the wall and make you squat down and put your nose in that circle and you had to stay like that for a long period of time in front of the whole class. Oh. The other thing he'd do is he'd make you stand up straight in front of the class with your arms straight out, straight out like this, holding books. And usually there were dictionaries. Now, you ought to try that if you haven't done this before. Hold them straight out 
and don't drop your arms straight out. And he's sitting there going on teaching the class. You're standing there with books sticking straight out like this in front of the class. Everyone's looking at you and they're laughing to themselves. But he makes you stand there and stand there and stand there. That was really something. Oh, you know what? Sometimes I wonder how I got through school being punished so often. But I did, just like many of you did. Well, enough of that uh, about creative teachers. They're out there. Fortunately, we don't see their creativity as much as we used to. Y'all be good.